And now to the political matter in Uganda. The death toll from West State's protest against the arrest of Ugandan presidential candidate Robert Kwangulanyi, known as Bobby Wine, has risen to seven, police say. A spokesperson told media that more than 40 people had been injured in the protests. Police have still not explained the cause of the deaths or the nature of the injuries. Graphic videos and photos shared on social media showed several people lying in the streets covered in blood, allegedly shot dead. A Uganda Red Cross statement said that their frontline workers had assisted 11 people with gunshot wounds. Meanwhile, opposition presidential candidates have suspended their campaigns, calling for fellow contestants to be released. Retired Army Generals Mugusha Muntu and Henry Tumukunde also demanded the police stop violence against candidates and the public. Campaign events for several opposition candidates candidates have been broken up or blocked by the police. Bobby Wine was arrested at the campaign rally in the east of the country on Wednesday. The police bundled, the police bundled him into a van claiming that he had drawn a crowd larger than 200 people recommended by electoral commission. His lawyers say that he has yet to be charged.